Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the important Java entry questions. Can you make an instance of an abstract class? No, you cannot make an instance of an abstract class. An abstract class has to be subclassed. If you have an abstract class and you want to use a method which has been implemented, you may need to subclass that abstract class instantiate the subclass subclass and then call that method for example i have an abstract class okay it has its own methods and it, it has an abstract method which does not have any body that means it is expecting the subclass to instant uh, give a method for this body for this so and i try to directly instantiate an instantiate an abstract class it will give an error compiler will give an error cannot instantiate the type abstract class but we have a subclass which is extending the abstract class and it is it has to give the body for this method signature that is expected otherwise it will give an error i will just explain to you so i didn't have a m method here for this signature so what does this mean this is a subclass which is extending an abstract class that means you are you are having a contract whatever abstract methods available in the abstract class i will be implementing so since i don't have any body it is giving it is the compiler is crying so it will it will give a suggestion so it says boss you have to give an implementation for the abstract methods so you can never instantiate an abstract class but you can instantiate a subclass which is extending from the abstract class let me explain in the real world scenario so for example account you will be having an account but there is no exactly an object called uh, account in the real world you, you will be having either savings account or current account what exactly happening here is there are common behaviors between savings account and current current account so we are moving those common behavior to the account class so that i can avoid code duplication i can reuse the code and one more advantage is i can practice programming to an interface and not to an implementation so savings account and current account has their own specific behaviors like current balance for um, cu for current account balance should be minimum $10,000 and savings account minimum $3,000 so what happens is we are pushing the specific code to the specific classes and we are pushing the common code to the abstract class so you you can't instantiate this abstract class because there is a dependency between these two so we can instantiate this concrete classes we can never instantiate abstract classes so advantages i can create like this account account is equal to new savings account i can push this object here and i can have a method like this this is called uh, programming to an interface this is not coupled to this method is not coupled coupled to any of these specific classes i can push savings account here i can push current account here in future releases if you have more accounts say <coughs> say a different account okay so you can push the such objects also so this is the advantage of using abstract class you can practice programming to an interface and not to an implementation so this is the benefit of using abstract class and you can't instantiate it if you want to you can't if you want to use the abstract class methods you have to extend from that class create a subclass and create a subclass object and call the methods hope this video is useful for your java entry preparation thank you and all the best